today's video we finally got another nvidia shield update this is shield experience upgrade 9.2 and if you guys have been following the channel for a while you know that we've been waiting for nvidia to push in some more updates so this video i'm going to quickly go over what this update is we're going to do a live update also we're going to go into some of the features that were added and for you guys that are new the reason for me to do these videos is just for me to push these updates see what effect if any they have on the device and that way if it breaks the device you won't have to experience that yourself so if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell let's go So just so you guys know, this is my 2017 NVIDIA Shield TV. We'll be checking for this upgrade in my 2019 Shield as well. But in the comment section, let me know which version of the Shield you have. Also, let me know if you received the update. And last but not least, let me know if you ran into any issues while performing this update. So let's quickly jump into it. So for most folks, they are going to see the notification up top like I saw earlier, but when you click on it, it might go away. So let me just show you how to check for updates if you haven't done so already. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your settings. So for me, I did configure a quick settings for to check for updates, but if you haven't done so, let me show you how to check it and let me show you how to configure that quick settings. So I'm gonna go to our device and preferences and click on about, and we're gonna go ahead and click on system upgrade. So with this, you do have a couple options. You can check for upgrade or you can turn on and off the auto upgrade and you can also set the time when upgrade. So those are the three options. Like I said, you can check for upgrade here. It will bring you to the upgrade. Um, but if you wanted to do the quick launch like I have, it just makes your life a lot easier. On the device preferences, we're gonna go to system. Where it says customize quick settings, click on that. Then you can kind of see what options you want to toggle on and off. You can see I have check for upgrade, I have shield accessories, power off, reboot, sleep. Um, so those are the options that I chose. You can go through and pick whatever works best for you. But like I said, I did add that check for upgrade option on my quick launch settings. So again, click on your settings. You're going to see the check for upgrade. And you can see we do have shield experience 9.2 so what's new on shield experience 9.2 all right so it says new or upgraded apps aura 3d so it tells you right there what it is hmi will unlock full support for the high speed immersive sound in oro 3d over hmi connect your nvidia shield pro to an aura 3d compatible decoder and enjoy the natural sound so it looks like you have to connect to a compatible encoder all right so as far as the games you can see we have some upgrades there to Fortnite, Call of Duty, Indiana Jones, Dragon Age. We also have upgrades to Black Myth, Stalker 2 as well. And the enhancements. Added support to match audio content resolution feature when using USB DAC. Adding ability to clear HDMI 1.4 flag via factory reset. Which I think if you factory reset your shield... It should clear everything. I don't, I don't know why that was an enhancement. Nevertheless, added match frame rate. It's in beta for enhancements. Add French parental controls. Added security enhancements for 4K DRM playback. Some of the known issues. Shield TV will be removed from Google Home integration after Shield Experience 9.2 installation. Visit NVIDIA support to reconfigure. Keep that in mind um, if you guys use that feature. Resolve bugs. Again, very important. This is a huge list. I know a lot of folks don't want to upgrade because they have issues or they, they're um, kind of hesitant about upgrading because of particular issues. These are what you need to look for. So fix choppy video playback, and I'm just going to skim through them. Fix remote stop responding after 60 seconds. A lot of folks have issues with their remote. Um, I fortunately haven't had that, but a lot of folks do. Fix issue with large file transfer on NAS. Fix Google signing in flow stuck in the loop. Fix shutter. On both, fix audio shutter, fix AV sync, crash volume, also fix Apple Music corruption, fix Spotify, fix Google, fix full screen shield rewards notification issue, Wi Fi lag, shield drive filling up, fix no audio heard when headset is connected, and it just goes on and on. So, again, if you're someone who experienced any or all of these issues, just the fact that these bugs have been resolved, that's a huge win in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced any of these issues. Let me know if this update actually resolved it. So let's go up and we'll do the upgrade and we'll see if my shield gets bricked because of this. All right, so we're going to go back. 
going to go to download and install. All right, so look like it's a little bit over a gig, give or take. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. While this is being sped up, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Let's fast forward. All right, so you can see when it's finished, it goes back to that, that upgrade screen. It did tell me that my drives are re-engaged and um, checking integrity. So it goes through a couple checks. Drives are connected. And if one thing I would say is after the upgrade is done, um, normally the device takes a while just for um, everything to be re-engaged, the applications, they're being updated in the background. You do have a lot of processes going on. So take some time, just give it a couple minutes, let it finish doing this thing before you start trying to use it. All right, so I'm just gonna double check. I wanna make sure my shield is completely up to date, make sure it's on the version 9.2. And you can see right there the version as well as the build number. So I'm gonna let it finish doing this thing in the background. Like I said, the purpose of this video is just, just to make sure that once the update's done, there's nothing wrong, my remote's working, everything else is working. There's a lot that got fixed on this update so I'll keep playing with it and I'll comment in the comment section if I run into any issues so let me know in the comments if you ran into any issues as well we'll, we'll just keep each other updated and of course if I need to do a follow-up on this video I will again thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one